YouTube. Today I'm going to do just a little bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 20.3 versus Linux Mint Debian Edition 5, uh, the beta release. So it's just come out really recently. These ones very rarely come out, so I thought it'd be a good time to, um, you know, to squeeze this video on here. Now, starting off, Linux Mint is actually based, well, 20.3 uh, on the left is actually based off Ubuntu, whereas Linux Mint DE 5 or Linux Mint 5 is actually based off uh, Debian. So if we were to maybe, uh, actually, we'll have a look at the desktop environment first. So they do want to keep them basically identical. That's the point of the new release of LMDE 5 on the right there. So it's got all the same apps, office apps, sound apps, video apps, graphics apps, internet apps. Uh, to say the least, there. Now, uh, the even the the file manager uh, is going to be pretty much the same. So, if we were to have a bit of a look at this, we'll find we're running the Nemo file manager, pretty much the same version in there as well, all the same there. But hey, as long as you can right click and open in terminal, that's what keeps me happy with the file manager. Now, uh, moving on, maybe a little bit to the back end there. So, having a look at the kernel. So, this is where it gets really interesting. So, Linux Mint 20.3, latest release based off Ubuntu, is actually running on the long term service release of Ubuntu. So, it's running on an older kernel, surprisingly, there. So, the 5.4. Whereas we have the uh, LMDE 5 beta is actually running, since it's running on uh, a newer version of Debian, in fact, it's called the Bullseye version of Debian. Uh, it's the latest and greatest. It's actually supported for uh, until about 2026, this one is, 2026 for LMDE5. Uh, so that's that's pretty decent, in fact. And uh, I might actually even mention the, the reason why you want to might want to choose LMDE5 over Linux Mint 20.3 is because it is said to be uh, a much more stable, but in this case, surprisingly enough, it's a later kernel. Uh, whereas you've got this long-term service release version for the Ubuntu one. So the version just gets a bit crazy here, but it is meant to be a little bit more snappy too. It's meant to look just the same. Uh, a little bit more geared towards developers, you could say, as well, because it is a Debian backend, but it isn't going to stop you from doing all the same basic things on either machine for the most part there anyway. And uh, probably, let's have a look, last but not least is probably the CPU and RAM usage. So CPU is idling out there nicely. So the, the RAM, actually, almost exactly the same to the uh, megabyte, which is strange because we've got a much newer kernel on the, D on the Debian edition. So 710 megabytes of RAM on boot up there, another 710. Uh, so pretty much exactly the same. So that's pretty much it guys, just a super simple quick uh, comparison video between Linux Mint 20.3 on the left there and uh, oh, Cinnamon Edition of course and Linux Mint Debian Edition version 5 beta release on the right here as well. I might do an upcoming video later on when it does pass beta just to see what we're really working with with RAM but I don't suspect it's going to be too much different. So thanks for watching guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.